parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time to turn. Don't give up what you It is the Raw Wrap-Up. It is Monday night. It has been a while since we have done this. I am Mike Sorg at Sorgatron. On the Twitter, this is the show where we go live on Facebook Live with you guys in the chat room. Wheels is out there. Brandon and whoever else has dropped by. Matt is out there. Matt Tressler is out there. Matt T. Matt T is out there as well uh, joining us. Thank you so much, guys, for doing so. I am here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in the Beachview neighborhood of Pittsburgh, PA, on a very snowy and crappy night. It it was so snowy that I was like, I don't know if I want to go to the four blocks to the studio to do the show. I'm not entirely sure, but it worked out fine because I got to connect with my good buddy up there in Poughkeepsie, New York. He is Mad Mike. Strowman! He is something of a superhero tonight, isn't he? He's basically, if if the battle for the cowl in DC Comics lore ended up with Bane winning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bat Bane Strowman. wasn't even a contender, but no, no. But Braun Strowman is basically a DC Elseworlds character. Mm-hmm. Like that. That's basically what's what's going on. He's amazing. Can we, okay, let's let's just start off strong with this. That first hour of Raw. If we just packaged that up and that was Raw, that is my favorite episode of Raw in like a year. Yes. I concur. And then the rest of the show happened. Well, okay, okay. So we'll get into that. But but still, <laughs> and, and this is the problem. We're like, okay, we, we compartmentalize like an hour of something happening versus that could have lasted the entire night. They, and it should have lasted the entire night. Really? Would it? Would it just be like too long-winded at that point? No. Oh, I'm sorry. Would you get tired of Braun flipping over a semi truck? No, you fucking wouldn't. Yeah, but then you'd have to mix it in with like he slobber. He he's he, yeah he slobber. He Slater you know again jobbed Braun out. Braun should and... have interrupted every match. That is true too. That would have been Braun should great. have interrupted every match because, let's face it, none of no one went over in any match tonight anyway. Why not have every match end with Braun and he just comes out and destroys fuckers. Mm-hmm. Like Braun Strowman, Braun Strowman should have injured Nia Jax's knee. Braun Strowman should have caused Matt Hardy to break again. Braun Strowman should have, like, I don't know, he should have interrupted the tag team matches that went too long. Braun Strowman should have done everything. Braun Strowman should have literally flipped the ring to prove that he could eliminate all 29 people in the Royal Rumble at once. Yeah, okay, okay. But either way, either way, I am very happy with that first that with, with with the brawn that we got. Like Braun's rampage over the first hour of Raw was just absolutely amazing. Like it was it was we let him go crazy. We let him destroy sets. We let him uh uh destroy catering. We, we let, let him, him we let we him let eat him cake. cake. Yes. Yes. I, 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 we we stomped on her and we and we stomped all we stromed all over each other's delivery there. Uh yes, but indeed. still. Uh we you both know, had the same joke. It is. It is with a Skype lag. So, uh, but no, it was. I thought it was fantastic and just great. Uh, I love that we uh, uh, Braun uh, was mad because he didn't get to finish his story. Uh, uh-huh. <laughs> I still want to hear that story, by the way. Braun Braun is uh, it, 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 once again is going to put hands on everybody. Mm-hmm. Everyone has to catch these hands. Everybody's going to catch imagine, these hands. Imagine if the short story that Braun wanted to tell us was just like that famous short story, The Lottery. As long as it's not the damn secret, I think we're okay. Yeah, like like if he just had a dramatic reading of like Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven, that would have been fantastic. Or if it was like Goodnight Moon. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear Braun Strowman reading Goodnight Moon. Or, oh no, Sorg, Sorg, I figured this out. You know what the short story was? Hmm. All right. Over Christmas, what did we see Braun Strowman do? I, everything. I, I, what, he, he he did a parody bi- video as Buddy the Elf. He Sword. did. 
Do you know how that movie Elf ends? It's been a while. I'm sure it's a happy ending. That movie Elf ends with Buddy the Elf telling a group of people his story. That's That was the short story that Braun was going to tell us. That was it. And we could have found out that whole thing. We could, we could, have, have, heard, we could have brought it around. and We, we just could have didn't. heard about his trip through the Holland Tunnel. Because Angle has to ruin everything. Yep, and we could have heard about a trip through a Holland Tunnel, and that ties in with Raw 25 that's going to be in New York next week. That's right. That's right. Right that's, down the road from it. you. Exactly. Uh, I mean, it's a, it's a longer road, but so, sure, it's... <laughs> I have no sense at a, what part of upstate New York you're in. <laughs> if you go down Route 9 for about two and a half to four hours, you will eventually hit Broadway. So, yes, <laughs> it is down oh. a road. Oh. It is down a road. Hold on. Pulling up a map yes. while I think about this. All right. Other than that, <laughs> and so we had uh, um, also. Uh, one, one more, th- one more yeah. thing about Strowman. All that being said and how amazing it was, if he doesn't win the title, it is for absolutely fucking nothing. You know what? It was for my entertainment tonight. Yes, for tonight, absolutely, totally fine. You know me. I'm a bit forward-thinking. WWE yeah. often is not. Yeah, in the meantime, I mean, you know, I'm looking forward to oh. our first uh, mayoral universal champion. Yeah, no, like, Braun, Braun can hold it for a month. Just mm-hmm. hold it for a month until Elimination Chamber. Then everyone can literally destroy him in the Elimination Chamber. Like... Just give us the satisfaction of someone being able to beat Brock Lesnar. Because, honestly, it's fucking irritating at this point. Okay, that aside, we've had that conversation yes. several times yes, on this and show. and I'm not going to have it again. I'm just saying, with everything that... Braun flipped a semi. Yes, he no did. Human, no human should be able to hold his shoulders down for a three count. True. Unless they Unless shoot him. they hit him Unless with a semi first. Him. Unless um, they shoot him. Okay, yes. If they hit him with a semi, by all means, pin Braun Strowman in the center of the ring. Mm-hmm. That's fine. That's fine. You're, That's you're saying fine. maybe the F5 is a little um, beyond its... Yeah. Like, unless it's an F5 off a chamber in the elimination... <laughs> yeah, that could be fun. That could be fun. All right, we got a little pause with Mad Mike here. Chamber going oh. to pin Braun Strowman. Kane's 40-year-old choke slam is not going to pin Braun Strowman. <laughs> oh, I mean, jeez, I mean, we've had uh, 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 Brock just no-sell the choke slam. That has just raved, raged over WWE for the last 20 years. Yeah, like, just, just give Braun the belt. Just give him the belt. It is inevitable. It is absolutely inevitable. And <laughs> then he can fight Taker at Mania. Oh... You know, if, if Braun Strowman wins at the Royal Rumble, and then Taker comes back in the to get revenge for his brother Kane, and costs Braun the belt, I'm honestly on board with that. Okay. I don't think that's going to happen, but I'm on I board think it could. Be, I mean, it, it, it's kind of almost the last um, immovable force, right? That that anybody's dealing with here. I think it'd be crazy. Yeah. I think it'd be crazy as hot as he is right now. And you. Oh, he's pausing again. Uh oh. That Poughkeepsie connection, probably. Uh, but anyway. He was on the art Ah, he's back. He's back. There he is. Yes. All right, you're the one that's delaying. I no, no. It, and it's not the connection. It's the computer itself. I think. I, I think there's yeah, still it's stuff. Like, it's- it, it's it's, the- it's 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 pulling down a Windows update or something. So yeah, that Monday um, night deal. What I was saying was that uh, Braun should bushwhack his way from Brooklyn to Manhattan next week. <laughs> bushwhack? <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if he's just like, the larger cousin of of, Book, of Luke and Butch? Yes. Uh, he's actually the Patara fusion of Luke and Butch. Jeez. Yeah. Uh, um, is this new Dragon Ball like, Z stuff? Because I'm not caught up. No, no. It's old Dragon Ball oh, okay. Z stuff. Okay. It's Vegito. Oh. But basically, he should just rampage from Brooklyn to Manhattan to destroy the Undertaker in the Manhattan Center. I see it. I see it. Of yeah. course. Anyways, um, the rest of Raw. The rest of Raw. Eh. You didn't. Uh, you didn't care for that Oscar and uh, and uh, the Ni- Nia, Jax? Nia Jax match with a non-finish. The match was fine. 
but mm-hmm. you, can't, you can't put either of them over mm-hmm. because it's Royal Rumble season, and we right. can't put either of them over. Oh, we didn't injure Nia too bad. Uh, yeah. Well, at least, at least her. Oh, wait for it! Wait for it! Wait for it! There you go. What's I, that? I said. I said he, at least. Uh, us, at least Naya and Enzo have matching leg injuries now. <laughs> yeah, I thought about that too. <laughs> it's just like, did we really, did we really need to do that? Is like, is the maybe, next episode just going to be both of them? Well, maybe well, it's sympathy. Yeah, sympathy pains. Uh, maybe it's just both of them are going to be feeding each other soup next show. Um, I don't know. We uh, we continue with the Shield and the Club. First of all, yeah, we, we you know, we've been off for it, but we haven't talked about this too much. What do you think about the general? Uh, shield ish versus club thing that's happening right now. I feel the only reason it's happening is because Dean Ambrose is out for nine months. Yes. Okay. Oh, but other the than only, that, the only reason it's happening. Um, other than reasons, that, other than reasons, how yeah. do you feel about it? Um, uh, it's weird because Roman isn't involved in it. He's not. This is this is a this is a two on three thing. Because, like, R- Roman's not out there supporting Seth. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it's, it's, it, it's, the sooner they can get this over with, the better. And just have the club be tag team champions. Honestly. Okay. Okay. Like, like give it back to Gallows and Arison. Then you can have Jordan feud with Jason, with uh, Seth Rollins. Do you get the feeling? I, I, cause I get the, you know, like, Seth doesn't just have the belt everywhere. But Jason Jordan just wears the belt everywhere. Like, you get the feeling that he's just wearing it around all night, like, going to the bathroom with it, taking the shower with it. Yeah, like, like, mm-hmm. like, 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 I think that's just J- Jason Jordan is like, I'm the tag team champion, and that's the greatest thing, and this belt's going to go everywhere with me. Jason Jordan is, his character reminds me of the kind of guy who puts a test that scored a 75 on the fridge. <laughs> Yeah, and like, I think he's like, hitting that hey, to a T. Oh, and he broke. I said, like, like, hey, guys, I passed. He, he reminds me of, like, the end of Tommy Boy, like, I got a D plus. I'm going to graduate. <laughs> like, 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 he's celebrating the most minor achievement. I'm like, Justin Gabriel got a tag title, man. Like, you know. Good for you. Good for you. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. I mean, they even brought up Booker T and Goldust were tag team champions at a point. Yeah, like, 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 act like you've been there before. Because guess what? You won the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. You've literally been there before. All right, we have not had you on. Uh, yeah. One of the one of the points of contention on this show for the longest time was uh-huh. uh, Broken Matt Hardy, mm-hmm. and whether they're going to bring him back. And now they uh-huh. have, uh, kind of. They had uh, okay. No, 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 kinda. Okay. They made Matt Hardy laugh a lot. Yes. They have not done anything else. They have not done it. Like I'll grant them, the Titantron was better this week. Mm-hmm. It didn't say Hardy Boys in weird nineties font. <laughs> it did say it. It's still yeah because it, it was the piano music that that they did this week. Um, well, but well, they did that last week. Yeah. But, but, it's a shittier version of something they could have just hired Rebby Hardy to play for twenty bucks. Well, don't they have a newborn or something? No, not since? a newborn. I thought it was since maybe but couple a couple months old. Couple months old. Okay, still, still. Um, yeah, uh, I mean, well, I don't well, expect. I'm not saying she has to be there live. I don't expect. That I'm I, saying she uh, should have been there the first time. Yes. To play it and then just use that recording. Well, it, and the thing is, he's not heading towards anything. There, there was nothing more about him and Bray this week at all. Oh, no. They're, I'm convinced they have absolutely no fucking clue what to do with this. No, no. They have no idea. Vince just heard the laughter and was like, oh, oh, wow. Hey, pal, that's pretty funny. You just keep laughing. Like, that's it. Yeah, and, and they, that, that's been okay, but there's been nothing else happening. Like, and, and I think, you know, my issue is... Something like this was, of course, a mainstay on Impact for for weeks, right? 
Uh, yes. and, a big, and a big segment. In a big segment. And this has been like the kind of... Remember we had like R-Truth and, and Goldust splitting up and then Goldust was was going back to the old like Hollywood character? Yeah. And, and sometimes we'd have a promo that lasts like two minutes. Sometimes we didn't for a week to week. And, it's, and, and you it's, remember it's, what it's, we had before that was Stardust? Right. Talking about the Cosmic Cube? Right, with the Ascension. Like, yeah, like... We need to stop filming in back rooms. Well, yeah, well, and, and 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 pushing stuff along like this that's buried in a three-hour show, mm-hmm. and you know it, it's hard to get along with. You know, okay, well, what do they do with Hardy this week? You know, probably not even making the Hulu cut. You know, it, it, it's 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 lost in that 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 last hour where yep. it seems more and more they give up. Uh, so, who's that and- for, and who's getting into that? And guess what? The big selling point of the broken Matt Hardy gimmick was not the in-ring work. No, it wasn't. No, it no, wasn't. Honestly, he should not. He should not have had a match so far Mm-mm. as broke as Woken Matt. The first time he should show up in the ring, like to have a match, is against Bray Wyatt. Right. Like, and th- this this should be happening on video screens. Yes, and it should be happening at the Hardy compound. It should be directed by Matt Hardy and maybe one WWE production assistant Man. that knows how to fly that knows how to fly a drone. Man, like shit, hire me. Too I'll bad. do it. I'll I'll do it for scale. It's too bad that that uh, it's too bad that Dave Lagan is busy filming empty uh, arena matches. Uh, oh, you mean Orlando. Impact tapings? No, 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 no. The NWA, NWA. <laughs> You mean impact tape? No, no, I mean the NWA. I mean Billy Corgan's NWA. He's been doing a lot of work with that. It's been really Thork. good. Thork. Thork. It's all impact tapings. <laughs> all right. We'll separate your confusion of impact wrestling and the NWA at some other point. Uh, no, they're so... working together. The, wait, what? They're working together. That's a real thing. Okay. I, this is new. Okay. No, other that's show. a real thing. I, I was also making fun of impact that they have empty arena matches right. every single day. Right. But still, they are working together on some projects. Yeah, but uh, Aaron Wheels is saying in the chat room they need Vanguard One. Mm-hmm. You're correct. They need Vanguard One. They need Senior Benjamin. They need the Broken Universe, the thing that made the fucking thing work. It, like you don't even need you don't need Jeff Hardy to wrestle. You need Jeff Hardy to fade away and classify himself as obsolete, motherfucker. So, if this is going to work. This is going to work online. This is not going to work because no, of Raw. No, 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 no. Because if you've seen what they did to the fashion files, they fucking ruined no, it. No, 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 no. I'm not even saying that WWE. Uh, because when when he was woken, there was a video that popped up on his own Twitter. That was fantastic. That probably had yes. no hands by WWE. Am I right? I guarantee it. <laughs> right. So now he has his platform to get that over, and he's got his Twitter on there every week on Monday Night Raw when he walks out, right? So now you use that to do the creative thing in spite of Raw. No, and but get... that, that sort, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. Isn't like, it? I, 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 no, it's not because they won't let it work. If Matt does his own thing on his own Twitter feed, they'll never show it on air. Oh, I don't know. I think it's a little. It, it's a when it gets enough buzz, they'll lean into it. And, and if anybody's going to do it, it's Matt Hardy. So they're two that's weeks my away thoughts. from. They're two weeks away from losing all the positivity that could have been generated from this gimmick. We'll see what happens then. We'll see what happens no, because because he's going to come out. He's going to be like, ah, yes, the Rumble of Royalty, and he's going to get squashed. And he's probably not even going to be there in the, at the same time as Bray Wyatt. All right. Anything else? Anything else uh, uh, you liked about Raw tonight? Um, how about how about Elias's outfit tonight? Elias is all, Elias for Rumble winner. Yes, please. Like, like seriously, I don't think he'd win it this year. Mm-mm. Next year, he should fucking win it. He's gonna he's gonna have a big spot at Mania. You know it. He has to. I would assume so, especially them being in New Orleans. That guy's gonna gonna perform in front of what is it, eighty thousand right. there in New Sorg, Orleans? Sorg, I have a question. You know he's gonna be on Raw twenty fifth next week. Mm-hmm. Who from the past interrupts Elias? Somebody they've announced, do you think? 
I hope not, because they've announced way too many oh, fucking no, no, people. Oh, no, no, no. You know who does it. You know who completely does it. And I've had this idea in the back of my head for a couple months now. Who? Oh. Because you already got Kurt Angle hanging out. You just uh-huh. need Stone Cold Steve Austin with his banjo. <laughs> and his cowboy hat. Give me crack corn and I don't care. Yes. That's what you need. And that would be amazing. I mean, yes. That, that is also And then good. Kurt um, Angle, already there, he comes out, small cowboy hat. I got Olympic gold. I got Olympic gold. <laughs> um, you know you yeah, want it. I, you know you want it. I, oh, otherwise, I, I need it. Otherwise, The Rock has not been announced. He'd be my number one pick. But this is my runner. Okay. You know who my number one pick is, Sorg? The Honky Tonk Man. <laughs> I thought you were going to say Man Mountain Rock. <laughs> Sorg has my number two pick. <laughs> man, 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 let's rock. dig him up. Men on a mission. Let's go. Oh no! Oh no! One of them's actually dead. Sorg. I, th- I was. I was. Thought it was. You can't say dig him up really? and then and then reference an actual oh. dead person. That's why I didn't. You say can't r- do that. Sorg. That's why I was gonna say Run DMC at first, but that I knew that was the case there. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Oh, poor men on a mission. Mm. I believe. I believe King Mabel's dead. Yeah. Yeah. Viscera. That's right. That's right. It's coming back to me. Oh. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, you men on the mission okay. fans out there. <laughs> for, all the, for all the Oscar marks in the chat room. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wheels is a big Oscar mark. He was at, you know, he was at Resolution in Cleveland. <laughs> I did not know that. That's I, awesome. it, I think the year, be, I think the beer, year before, I went with Eamon up there. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure he's, he was uh, a part of that show. Doing, oh, I don't God. know. <laughs> Wheels oh. is saying Van Hammer should show up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh the, 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 the surviving, the surviving to... members of the Rap is Crap uh, crew. Oh. You know, no, no, because that means Virgil. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, there's already a little bit of that on Twitter tonight. We've had this discussion. Yeah, please. Um, I, we do have to mention one other thing. They made the first announcement for the Hall of Fame. They did. They did. And uh, Sorg, do you know what this announcement of Goldberg tells me? They have nobody else interesting for the Hall of Fame. Um, Taker's having a match. Oh shit! That's what that tells me. Yeah, yeah. That's what that tells me because ain't no way Taker's gonna be inducted this year. Nope. Because he's not sharing the spotlight with Goldberg. Nope. So Taker's having a match. The year, the year that Undertaker gets inducted. You will also have Kane, Paul Bear. Well, no, Paul Bear has already been inducted. Uh, you'll have Kane. You will have. We've already had uh, McFoley. Let me think. Who um, else is I don't there. think you'll have Taker and Kane inducted in the same year because Kane will most likely induct Taker. Mm. Who else would? Mm, Sean. I can't. I can't. I no. Trips. I can't see anyone. I. I think it has to be Kane. That's gotta be Kane. <laughs> I was waiting for it. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Uh, we'll I see. think that's we'll gotta see. be Kane. Like, like that's not even a joke. I, right. I think. Who inducts yeah. Goldberg? Ooh. Um. Tony Schiavone. Prob- <laughs> That'd be amazing. That'd be the greatest induction in the history of our sport. <laughs> <laughs> Sean Moody. Uh, honestly, I think. Probably Sting. Yeah, it makes sense. Sting or maybe... Oh, oh Christ. You know who could induct him? Raven. No. Hogan. Yeah, you know, I thought about that because he's the, he's the only other guy that it really kind of stuck in my head. Like, they did the biggest business together yeah. right? with Georgia Dell. Or, or it could be The Rock. Uh, could be. Why? Could be. Why? Because when Goldberg came to the WWE, that's who he feuded with. <laughs> Kevin Nash. <laughs> Kevin Says Nash. Ernie. <laughs> uh, what? Is? Kevin Nash. Cool. No, um, no, but I, I, The Rock might be a viable option because when Goldberg came to the WWE, i.e. when he became relevant, he attacked The Rock. Oh, that is right. He won yeah. the belt. I think he won the belt from him or something, right? Uh no, he won no. the belt from Triple H. Confusing the Brock Lesnar, uh yeah. line, but 
All right. Yeah, he he won the belt from Triple H, but he first feuded with The Rock. Mm-hmm. It was Hollywood Rock that he was fighting at that point. All right. <laughs> oh, uh, Wheels is saying Brother Love will induct Taker. Ooh, I like that. That's or ha. <laughs> Ted DiBiase. Mm-hmm. Ted DiBiase. I would love to see that. The man who brought Taker in sends him out. That would be dope. That'd Ted be DiBiase good. inducting a Taker. That would be awesome. That'd be good. That'd be amazing. Um, well, I think it's at that point. Mike, Mad Mike. <sighs> yeah. How much yeah. of Raw was watchable for you tonight? Uh, hour 20. Okay. All right, I'll give you hour that. 20. I'll give you that. Yeah, hour twenty, like lots, lots of forgettable matches in there. I'm going to go an hour forty-five, sir. All right, that, and I that's, didn't think uh, that's, it, that's low for you. That's I, low for and you. And I generally didn't think it was a bad raw or anything. Um, I just kind of zoned out when we got to like all the uh, shield guys. Well, yeah, because uh, WWE is still like, and don't get me wrong, the the matches are fine. The matches are great, but Raw doesn't seem like Raw anymore. It seems like a pay-per-view every week. I was all about well, a pay-per-view, but I don't know. Uh, but the you know where the pay-per-views have dropped to. Um, I was all about the segment yeah. as we went into Elias and then Miz being awesome, and then just mm-hmm. to find out it was going to be Roman against two, the the Miz Raj. Yeah, and, and that was kind of like, eh, all right. I mean, that's that's kind of what it had to be, but. And win that next week. Mm-hmm. If Miz doesn't win the title back next week, he should win the Rumble. I don't know what's going to happen next week. I, I think we're going to. Uh, we talked about uh, briefly about doing a Raw 25 uh, watch party here in the studio uh, for anybody that's in the Pittsburgh area. And as long as the snow stops doing what it's been doing here in Pittsburgh, uh, but uh, but uh, so uh, we'll be doing yeah, stuff uh, around Brandon that. Is, I, Brandon. Brendan is bringing up the curb stomp is back. Ooh, I, I didn't see that. that That's was, awesome. Yeah, the, the curb stomp, and it looked really good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it looked really, really good. But that's what left the mark on his head that they were selling too, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. Finn ate it hard. Nice, nice. Like a true professional. Awesome. Yes. Um, so, uh, Mad Mike, uh, we'll be doing this yeah. again. Wrestling Mayhem Show is uh, 9 p.m. Eastern time. Tuesday, live.wrestlingmamshow.com. Uh, you guys can join us. We're going to have a referee, Dave Fedor, joining us here. I'm going to have a lot of fun with him there. Uh, we'll so, probably have live mixed match challenge updates. Yeah, probably. Probably. A lot of the wrestling's happening during the show that I will watch while I'm editing the show afterwards so we can have fun with that. So, so do, do I need a watch? Do you need a watch? To, to watch. To, to no, watch you do the mixed not need a challenge. Facebook watch. Facebook watch is the service on <laughs> Facebook. You do not need but, a watch that, that, that has but, Facebook. No, I try putting a watch inside a book and pressing my face into it. That's how you do this, right? So, uh, so, so something like that. Something like that. Okay. All right. All, All right. right. Mad Mike 483 on the Twitter. I'm at Sorgatron, uh, WrestlingMamShow.com. Check out the new PittsburghWrestling.com updates. Uh, I've been working on feverishly during Raw as well. Maybe that's why I'm not interested in the Shield because I was too busy working on websites and trying to get that. No, the Shield is boring. Uh, the Shield okay, is boring. Maybe that's, that's the case. That's, that's why you're. That's why you're not interested. <laughs> but until the next time, thanks a lot, everybody, for joining us on the Facebook Live. And until then, uh, please like us on the Facebook Wrestling Mam Show so you know when we do go live. Until next week, keep it raw.